Unfortunately, Heidi Klum is under the weather and could not be here today. Heidi Klum is still feeling under the weather today. Heidi Klum has been missing from America's Got Talent. Where is she? On this episode of the Talent Recap Show, we're going to give you the inside scoop and the real story about where Heidi Klum was. Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm Raganka. And welcome to the Talent Recap Show. All right, you guys, we have a very special episode of the Talent Recap Show because a lot of fans have noticed that Heidi Klum has been missing from the judging panel for the past few episodes of the America's Got Talent auditions. And all Terry Crews said when he got up on stage was, Heidi is feeling a bit under the weather. Unfortunately, Heidi Klum is under the weather and could not be here today. We miss her! First of all, what kind of explanation is that? What's going on around the world? That is not something we want to hear. Yeah. And as the managing editor of Talent Recap, we could see that there were a lot of searches, there were a lot of comments, there were emails sent to us where people were wondering what really happened to Heidi Klum. That's why we're doing a special edition today where we give you the inside scoop on why Heidi Klum is missing from America's Got Talent taping. On March 10th, that was day 5 of America's Got Talent taping, Heidi Klum felt a little sick and she told the producers, the producers got the medic and when um, they tested her temperature, she had fever. That's when she had to leave because everybody was worried around her. Yeah, so then on March 12th, uh, leaked footage came out of the auditions and people noticed that Heidi was not sitting in her judge's chair. Mm -hmm. So naturally, we all got to thinking, uh, how sick is she? What happened to Heidi Klum? And on the same day, that's when Heidi was also in the news for the Jeffrey Epstein scandal. Oh my God, oh my God. I think it was in the, the victim statement had just come out that very day. Yes, that literally that same day, a victim statement came out mentioning Heidi Klum uh, had some affiliation with Jeffrey Epstein. So naturally, people on Twitter started conspiracies saying that the real reason Heidi was missing from AGT was because of that and not because she was sick. But we all know that she was actually sick. And we knew for sure on March 13th when Heidi Klum took to her Instagram story to address the entire situation. Hi everyone, I just wanted you to know why I have not been sitting in my America's Got Talent seat and just um, gone to work. Um, it started all with <clears throat> like a chill, feeling feverish, um, cough, runny nose. Um, I'm just not feeling good, so that's why I've stayed home to not infect any other people. Um, I hope it's um, just a cold. I would love to do the corona test, but there just isn't one here. I tried with two different doctors, and I just can't get one. Stay safe, everyone. Stay home if you don't feel good. It's really unfortunate the fact that she's sick, and she's talking about how she doesn't have any COVID tests available to us. Now, let me give you a little contest. This was the time when things were just starting to get bad. It wasn't as bad as it's now. And WHO had just called it a pandemic. Tom Hanks had just gotten sick two days ago. So it was relatively new. We didn't have any social distancing rules as such that were set up. And Javi Mandel, who's a germaphobe, was constantly calling Heidi just to check up on her to make sure that she's okay. How are you feeling physically? I'm okay. I have everything. Are you drinking a lot of fluids? Drink a lot of water? This is how I live my whole life, even when we're not doing it. We should do something. No, no I just wanted to say hi. Uh, we love you, and I'll check in with you later, okay? okay. Feel better. Yeah, and I mean, you know, I could imagine that might get a little annoying having Howie calling you 25-8 instead of 24-7. Mm -hmm. um, but on March 14th, Heidi posted a video with her husband, Tom, and she said that they were quarantining separately because uh -huh. he came back from his tour and he was also feeling a little sick. 
And, um, you know, she did also say that she got tested for for the virus at the time and she kind of kept people hanging because we were all just waiting and waiting for her to tell us the results. Exactly, and I think it's so sad because people don't understand that she also has kids and it would have been such a daunting time and the Instagram post that she had put up was all about loving people and loving your family and holding people that you love close, which can tell you she was terrified. Like. At that time, we didn't have the information that we have now, which is like less than anything. But just to think of it, and just think of this, the judges at America's Got Talent were also terrified. Yes. And I mean, like we said, Howie has OCD. He was flattening the curve before there was a curve. <laughs> so this is like his nightmare just brought to life. And we have to mention that Howie Mandel came to the AGT taping wearing a full-on hazmat suit. So it would have been in a really dark way a little bit funny if Howie had gotten sick from the person that he sits next to, which is Heidi. And not just Howie, Simon Cowell was actually really scared for his son Eric and he wasn't traveling much. The entire family was wearing masks and I mean, Simon's not much for rules, and that really shook him, which just tells you how scary it, a time it was. Finally, on March 25th, Heidi uploaded a picture, and very sneakily, she had a little hashtag <laughs> on her Instagram that said, COVID negative, and fans were relieved. Definitely relieved. Uh -huh. I know we were both relieved and we were happy that none of the judges, you know, went on to have it. But um, she also ended up giving an interview with People magazine later in May saying that mm -hmm. the reason why she couldn't tell people whether or not she had it is because she literally did not know. It, it took two weeks for her to get her results back. And I think that the anticipation was really just building up for fans of the show and also the judges. That's why if you look at the AGD taping, there is an episode that is filmed without a, just, uh, without a guest judge and it's just Javi, Simon and Sophia. That's when Heidi had to leave, they had no idea, but thankfully the next day, Eric Stonewall, Stone Street, Stone Street from Morden Family. Listen, I will never get a, get his real name right. He, <laughs> he'll always be Morden Family. But he filled in for Heidi. And if you're worried, like I know you are and going crazy, Heidi is doing fine and she's going to be right there. We have seen clips of Judge Cuts, so she's back. Judge Cuts is being filmed right now. Her family is completely safe. She's also there for virtual AGT auditions. Hi, Howie. Hi. Hi. to finally spend quality time with you again. I know. I love seeing you. Sorry, I can't hear you. Yeah, so all the judges are back together. They're all still sitting next to each other. But we know that they're sitting apart, like spaced apart. Mm -hmm. And we also saw that behind the scenes they are wearing face masks and all of the contestants will be performing from home and the judges will be looking at a screen so it will all be done virtually you know but the virus throws things at you mm -hmm. and you just have to adapt and still put on a great show i really hope for the lives like everything is sorted out because mm -hmm. I do not want to repeat of American Idol and The Voice. I just want AGD back and this virus gone. I think literally everybody, everybody watching agrees. And if you agree, please comment down below or what you think they will do for the live shows when it comes to that point after Judge Cuts. Okay, I gotta tell you a fun fact. Let me know, let me know. So when Heidi was missing and Eric was in the judging panel, there was a contestant called Michael Yu, the comedian. He actually had COVID and six days later, he was admitted to the ICU where he stayed for eight days and he almost died. Although thankfully, like he cried and there were a lot of like, um, there was a lot of love given from far and there was social distancing rules and a lot of hugs, but Terry Crews actually did hug him. What if, okay, oh my this, God. this is a stretch because uh -huh. we don't know, but uh -huh. what if Terry Crews had the virus? 
because that would be a little crazy if he had gotten it from Michael Yo. Just like a, one hug can literally change your whole world. So, I mean, I, I really hope so because, I mean, he also met every other contestant after yes. that. Yes. They were all in like the waiting area exactly. together. So it just makes you wonder. And we do know how quickly and rapidly the virus could spread. So it's it's just a question in our mind. I mean, everybody's all right now. So probably yeah. if it was something that was really minor or maybe yeah. they were asymptomatic or maybe Michael just didn't have it at that time. I guess we'll never know the real answer, you guys. Uh, but comment down below. Uh, how have you been liking AGT without Heidi Klum? And are you excited to see Heidi return for Judge Cuts? Because I'm pretty sure we are. Stay safe, you guys. And don't forget to enter our $100 giveaway that is still open. Samantha, tell them how they can join. All right, you guys. We know that we have a ton of fans down there, and we want to see your faces because a lot of you have not entered the giveaway. All you have to do is send us a video, whether it's in a DM on Instagram, a message on Twitter, or via email, telling us your first name, where you're from, because we know a lot of you are from all over the world, and what you like about Talent Recap or what your experience as a viewer of Talent Recap has been like. So we want to see all of your faces, you guys. Get all up in our DMs, just like this one. My name is Ozua Grimisoland. I am from Nigeria. So I subscribe to Talent Rika because, yeah, I'm a kind of person that loves commentaries. Like, I love when I hear people give their opinion about something. And that is what you do in Talent Rika. And congratulations, guys, for reaching 5 million subs. I want you to know that this is just the beginning. It's Ben. I am from Ohio. And I have been watching you guys for two years. I like your channel a lot. In the live shows and the final EGT, you guys get like interviews, so we get to hear about what the other acts have to say. And same with the judges. Hi, my name's Reed, and I live in Edmonton, Canada. Uh, the reason why I like Talent Recap is because like it gives us so many different perspectives and like uh, different like views points of different like favorite TV shows. I don't have cable, so if I want to watch AGT, like the different acts, I have to watch it either on your YouTube channel or America's Got Talent's YouTube channel. So I'm really grateful that you guys do that, and I really love your talent recaps. But I think that's it for us today, you guys. Hope you got the inside scoop on where Heidi has been, but let everybody know where they can find you. It's Praganka Chavla on Instagram. Come say hi. Where can they find you, Samantha? Follow me at SamanthaX373, but while you're on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, follow Talent Recap on all social medias, and head over to talentrecap.com because we have all the scoop on AGT, and I think it's time for us to say, and that's our Talent Recap. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit that subscribe button down below, and then we can talk.